Hi there, this is Sunny Business with your friend Simeon. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. There are a lot of mistakes, most of uh, the novice that are going into this business or some people that are into this business but are not yet learning or not getting it. There are some mistakes they get when stocking new fish like this. You can see I have my fish inside the bath here and I wanted to stock them. I just got them from where I went to collect it. So pouring it inside the bath, I realized something is going on. I was getting, um, I'm getting some kind of mortality from the fish. So I've already threw them away before I could even decide to make this video. So sorry about that. So I was seeing some mortality and I have to check what is wrong with the fish why they are having mortality right from where i went to get them it's not all about the stress if it is stress i shouldn't be getting up to 10 or 15 mortality at once when they arrive to my place so you understand so i have to check what is going on so checking them i see their uh, what should i call it let me just see the rope that is in front of their mouth and uh, their mouth is getting whitening in color so I have to check more and more to see maybe it is a single one. After checking, I realize it's a little bit many that is affecting them. So when you see this kind of thing, you don't stock your fish right away. You just have to treat them before you stock your fish. I usually talk about treating your fish before you stock them. So this is one of the aspects, one of the way. If if you get your fish and you are not seeing what the sign that I'm seeing now, you can just treat them with salt. Just pour salt on them. You know, you try to turn it, you steer it, then you pour it inside your pond like that. There is no problem. It's just a normal preparation before you stock them. It's just like you purify them before you stock them. But realizing this kind of things like this, it is a must for you to treat with uh, something better than salt, ordinary salt. So right now, they are having a kind of bacteria, so I have to use antibiotics to treat them right away. So what type of uh, antibiotics medicine am I, am I going to apply to them at this very tender age of them? So I got myself um, the red and yellow here. This is a tetracycline capsule, the 250 mg. Then I have the, this one is, you can easily say it is red and yellow, tetracycline, you know. So, and I have the chlorophenicol here with me. It is 250 as well, 250 mg, so milligram, right? So I have it here with me. You can see white capsule. This one is red and yellow. So if you are not getting the name, this is the tet tetracycline, and this one is the uh, chlorophenicol. So all of them are both 250 milligrams. So you can see the difference. So I'm, I'm applying the two to the fish right now. So how do you use it? It is very simple. You take all of this capsule out, then you try to loosen it. You get your water like this, so that you mix it well before you pour it inside. If you pour it inside, if you release it inside its street, it's going to do the work, but you know, to stir it to become soluble, to mix with the water will be a little bit hard. So it's better for me to just use small water from outside, pour it inside the small water, stir it very well, then I pour it inside the fish and stir it. Then I will leave it for some minutes, maybe 30 minutes, it may be within just 30 to 40 minutes before I restock the fish. Doing that, I've already purify or treat the fish from whatever thing that is happening to them. It won't be until they get into the pond, you know, start developing faults before I get to treat them. I've already realized the uh, problem right from the beginning and I'm trying to treat them now. So when I keep them inside the pond, I won't be having much of a problem with them whenever time I stop them. So I'm going to do this thing now so that you can see it. This is one of the ways to treat your fish too. So before you stop them, I told you, you can, if you only want to purify them, like if you don't truly believe the source of the fish or you just feel like you can just treat them with salt. You just put salt in such a way that it won't be much more than the volume of the water that's inside the bath. So the rubber basin. So, and you stir it. Don't let it stay longer. It may be between five to 10 minutes, then you stock your fish. Don't let it, the fish are still young and salt kills fish so don't forget that then the second thing if you are having problem with them then you treat with antibiotics which i'm going to do right now so thank you as you watch the video with me